Hey, 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 good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Dana, a.k.a. Matt Kester. My friends call me Pod. All right, guys, so if you come up here to DanaTucker.com and you click on this right here, and then about our online courses, this is going to bring you down uh, where you'll be able to come in with a guest registration. The password is music, all lowercase. And we're going to come down and concentrate on Audacity 101. Okay. If you come down and right mouse click this file and hit save link as. Okay. It's called Audacity Keys. I made this up the other day. And I'm going to show you just exactly what it does. It will take your workflow and just make it tremendously faster. Okay. So let's go ahead and go on down to Audacity, and let's play In My Backyard. Okay, guys, so in Audacity, the file that we just downloaded, we're going to come up to Edit, Preferences, and right here where it says Import. We're going to come down and find that file. And it's going to tell us that it loaded 18 keyboard shortcuts. We're going to say OK and OK. Now, when I test audio files, this is the first thing I do. I'm going to make a window at the end, and I'm just going to simply play it. And what that does, that tells me what your noise floor is. OK, it's real simple to do. At this point, what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the control key down, and I'm going to go through the whole... Uh, bottom line of your keyboard, we're going to use the Z, the X, the C, the V, the B, the N, and M, and then the comma. Now, I'm going to make other lists for when you actually edit your file. But for this particular one right here, this video just shows you the steps to go through that will make your workflow so much quicker. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is control Z. You want to check low uh, LF roll off for speech. That's what that is. And you're simply going to go OK. Now, once you do that, it's done. You'll, you'll never have to go in there and change it again. OK, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is analyze it. We're going to hold Control X. We're going to hit OK on the keyboard. It's telling me I've got a negative 6.9 dBs. I've got to remove that. OK. But we don't want to do that yet. So what we're going to do now is simply hit the uh, keyboard, enter. So I'm going to come down now and actually work on the noise floor. We're going to highlight this area. We're going to get the noise profile, control B. We're going to simply click get noise profile. Now we're going to hit control N. That's going to highlight the whole track. We're going to go back to control B. And as you can see, the OK is already highlighted. We're going to say OK. Now, at this point, we're going to go back to Control X. This is going to analyze it for us. Negative uh, 6.3 dBs. I just wanted to double check it. Control C. We're just simply going to type in a negative 6.3. Hit OK or Enter. And now let's go ahead and analyze it again. We're at the 0.0, .0 dB mark, guys, which means we should be perfect. Okay. So from there, we go to Control, comma. This is going to open up our export window. We're going to name it 11. We're at the constant bit rate, 128 kbps. We're going to hit uh, Enter. And sometime, uh, LibreVox will allow you to add comments in the comment field, you know, uh, narrated by, read by. And it's real simple to do. Once you fill this information out, you just click add. And what happens is this. Now it turns it into a template. See, and there's mine. And I'm going to clear it. I'm not going to leave it in there. And we're simply going to say OK or Enter. And that's it. We just exported that file. OK, guys, and, and that's it. It's just a real easy way to work on your audio file without having to constantly use your mouse.
Okay? It just speeds things up a whole lot quicker. All right? Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.